It was a time of tremendous distress, totalitarianism, a larger economic crisis, and eventually the Second World War. What we show in this exhibition is that how the surrealists cope with all these problems. Their imagery started to react to their time. We decided to show this great painting by Richard Oelze called Expectation at the very beginning of the show because we think that unlike any other painting, this really brings all the different topics, all the different strands of the exhibition together. There are these questions that this painting poses to us. What is this group doing here in this natural setting? What is going to happen in the next moment? And you can immediately grasp the atmosphere that this artist was living in and anticipating during the mid-1930s. Wolfgang Palen is one of the most fascinating artists coming out of this exhibition. He painted Totemic Landscape from 1937, shortly after he had returned from a trip to Munich. He saw the infamous Nazi exhibition about degenerate art. He immediately knew that he had to ready himself to leave the continent for America. This wonderful painting, Max Ernst, Europe After the Rain II, is one of the highlights of Monsters and Myths. Max Ernst started painting Europe After the Rain II in France shortly after he had escaped a prisoner's camp, 1940, finished it in New York, 1942. As such, it is truly transatlantic. Dorothea Tanning painted The Temptation of St. Anthony when she was close to Max Ernst, and it shows this unique reinterpretation of a topic that had been depicted many, many times before. These artists, they felt they were trapped in a never-ending cycle of history.